Hi everyone, it's Nisha from Inspiring Beautiful Creations. I'm here today to share with you the project that I made for the collaboration that I'm in with Memory Lane Keepsakes. She's doing a monthly sweet treat collab where each month we have to create a project and share that project on the 30th of each month to share with based on the theme that she has given us for the month to work with. So this particular um, theme this month was in the park and we needed to do something that was sweet treat incorporated about in the park. So here are some of the items that I use to create my project and I'll share with you the items first. Um, these are some of the dies that I use. I use this hanging willow type die the two different types of grass dye, and then this basket dye. Um, all of these dyes are from various um, locations actually, and I believe this is a Stampin' Up dye. I'm not even exactly sure. This one I think is also a Stampin' Up dye, but my dyes are kind of grouped together by what they are, not necessarily what company or who they're made by, so I really won't be able to tell you exactly all of them. So these are the dyes that I used. Here is the stamp set that I used. Sorry for any of the glare. And this is from one of the UK magazines where you get the dies on the back. Here is my favorite punch. This punch stays in my active crafting um, box all the time. I love my butterflies, but these are also the accent butterflies that I use on the back of a lot of my tags. But I just love this Martha Stewart butterfly punch. Here is the paper pad that I used. I'm not exactly sure how old this paper pad is, but it is a DCWV that I've had for quite a while, and it's called the Collage Art. And it's got really pretty papers in here with different um, scenery and background. And the actual pieces of paper that I chose to use from this was this one. It was like a mixed media type piece of paper, but it had the blues and it had some flowers and it looked like a lot of work was done. And I thought this was a really um, beautiful sheet of paper to work with. And then I also worked with my Spectre Noir markers. So I, that tells you I did some coloring. Um, I have the aqua markers as well as the regular Spectra Noir just markers that I used. And I used, I pulled out my stamps, my um, Julie Nutting dolls. Um, I've only actually played with one of the dolls, so I kind of wanted to use this doll this time just to see, you know, what I can create with it and just do something that was just a little fun for me. Okay. And here is my project that I made. Oops, I want to put this there. I actually created a backdrop or a card front, or I haven't actually decided what I'm going to use this for. Um, I felt like when the time comes for me to actually use it, because this particular month I didn't have a specific um, project, I'm sorry, a specific plan for the theme so I just wanted to create something that was fun and it was it's interesting and this is what I created and here you see the weeping willow tree and I just paper piece another um, piece of paper on here for the tree trunk and then there's my Julie Nutting doll I have her kneeling but I have her leaning on the back of a tree as if she's thinking she has some little flowers in her hand here and these flowers actually, um, and this particular flower that's right here, these actually came from a little sticker pack that I had that had some flowers on it. And then there's that basket. And in that stamp set, it had this that looks like a little blanket, and I just cut some little pieces out and really ruffled the edges here just to make it look like it was a, like a little worn blanket. And then I also cut a corner of another piece and made it look like it was just a little napkin or a cloth napkin hanging out of the basket. And here's the pieces for the basket and I just used, used a little um, red paper behind it. 
And then on that sticker sheet as well were these individual sandwiches that I created here. Made two sandwiches. And strawberries, which are my favorite. I cut these all out individually. There's no dye for these stamps, so everything was um, fussy cut with my scissors, but I cut these out and colored them just to make it look like individual um, strawberries. And this is the sweet element of this particular project, the sweet strawberries. Um, I also put a bottle of sparkling water back here. And I put some goblets here for the water um, to be poured in when whoever arrives to meet her for her picnic in the park. Here's my little butterflies and these are on some glitter paper. Now what I did with the weeping willow tree, I also glittered that with my Spectra Noir markers just so it gave it a little shimmer. And then I stamped a little sun in the corner over there. And here are all the leaves. I'm sorry, the grass punch that I used. I cut several because I wanted it to look really 3D-ish where she was actually sitting in the grass. There's some grass covering her here in the front. So I, I, I cut a lot of that out just to make this, you know, have more of a 3D effect and look like she was literally sitting in the park. I also gave her some little straps with some gold um, ribbon or string that I had. And I paper pieced the dress. So this was another pattern that was in the paper pad that I love her dress and then I cut it out for her headband but then I also cut it out in just a solid yellow and then cut the same bow and turned it upside down to make a little interesting bow in the front of her dress here and then I colored her hair um, the black and I love how the marker kind of gave it a little bit of a shimmer on her hair just so it stood out from the actual background of the skin so this is my project that I made for this month's theme in the park I hope you enjoy it um, what I want to ask you all is um, I did not put a sentiment on this particular card just yet I had um, I was thinking about something that I can put here um, one sentiment that I did think about putting up there and I just haven't attached it because I don't know just yet what I want to use this particular backdrop for or if I just want to start using my dolls um, dolls dolls and actually making a little book of just the different dolls and different sceneries and just something pretty to look at but I cut out this word blessings here and I did it in the yellow I'm not sure if that's showing up. And I thought about her maybe just thinking that she was thinking and it was like a cloud, you know, behind her. But she was thinking about all the blessings that she's received and just enjoying her time out in the park on a nice summer day. So let me know what you think, what ideas I should put. If I should put a sentiment, if I should just leave it alone, what should I use this little piece for? Should I use it for a card? Should I just use it for, like I stated, you know, just to save in a book and start using some of my other dolls? So just give me some um, your opinions and let me know what you think I should use it for. One of the things that I want to also present in this video is that I was actually the winner with Tanya with Memory Lane Keepsake. I was the winner of her challenge. She had a challenge that she had out there and I actually won um, this particular Celebrations cookbook and I didn't show it on the video earlier because I've just had a lot going on these past couple months so I just wanted to be able to say thank you Tanya because this book is beautiful and I really love the fact that it's a cookbook with beautiful recipes in it but it's also a coloring book so now that I have my markers and my pencils, I want to take the time out and I'm going to um, color in some of these pages because I think it'll be really, really beautiful to color in these pages as well as some of these tasty um, recipes. And this is probably one of my favorites here. Again, strawberries. So I'll have fun in coloring that. And also, she gifted me inside one of these um, die cuts. I was looking for, isn't that pretty? See that with the butterflies? Love my butterflies, thank you. Um, she has a, a beautiful sentiment on the inside for me, um, a message, I'm sorry, but she sent this to me. It's the actual butterfly ladies. Um, I saw her use this dye 
on something that she um, was making for a swap that she was in. And when I saw it, I fell in love with the actual dye because I love butterflies. So I'm going to open this up and show you guys. Don't want to damage any of them. It's the lady in the dress with her butterfly background. I love this. I'm going to use this for um, something that we're doing with our Girl Scouts. So I really love this. And then she also gave me all the little butterflies that came out of the dress. So that'll be really pretty. So um, hopefully when I create this, and I'm actually um, in the process of waiting for my dye to come in because I did find it. So I'm in the process of waiting for my dye to come in. But thank you so much for cutting these die cuts out for me and allowing me to have them for the event that I have for my Girl Scout troop. So um, I want to thank you all for watching. Please check the description box below for all the ladies that have joined this collaboration. Their links are listed below. I would love for you to join them and see the beautiful things that they've created for this month. I would also love for you to um, check out memory lane keepsakes channel she hosted this collaboration i appreciate her because she's giving us the opportunity to be creative and challenging us every month with these themes to see how we can think outside of the box and what we can create especially with a sweet treat theme so i appreciate you all again for watching supporting and taking the time out of your busy schedule for the day to even leave me those beautiful messages and just, just watching the video. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate you and have a wonderful day.